Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the liner on your Cookie G4 or your Cookie G35. Uh, to me, this is one of the best features of these helmets that you can remove the padding if you need to wash it or replace it if it gets really worn out or dirty. You can just order new padding and have a basically brand new helmet on. Uh, so uh, let's go flip the camera. Let's go check it out and I'll show you how it's done. What you want? So the, uh, before the release of the Cookie G4 uh, and now the new Cookie G35, uh, you had to send uh, your helmet, if you had a Cookie G3, let's say, or G2, you had to send the helmet to Cookie for them to repat, repat it and uh, redo the liner and all that. Now you can do it yourself. Since the uh, padding on the G4s and G35s is removable, you can either wash it uh, if it's really dirty or sweaty uh, if you're using it in the summer. Uh, or if you're needing just to replace just a liner because it's really worn out uh, and you need to get a new liner, you can just order that and install it yourself. So let's flip the camera and I'll show you how it's done. Hey, by the way, hit that like button. It really helps my channel grow. Thank you. All right, so let's uh, let's start. Um, I picked a Cookie G4 since G35 and G4 basically have the same uh, uh, internal structure for the padding and how it clips. So um, I have a Cookie G4 here, but basically it's the same. I've removed the, the, um, the visor on this one, just to be, so, so you can see inside what I'm doing and we don't have the visor on our way right there. So just basically flip the helmet over and you'll start by just removing your strap. Just remove that from this, the buckle because you have to pull it through that little hole. So remove the strap, make sure you don't lose this. You got a little friction adapter here, just take that out, put it aside. So that way this strap can easily be um, released from there. The other, the part of the buckle, it's attached to the actual liner itself. Okay, so you've removed your buckle from the strap already, we'll leave that there. Now, what you have to locate, and you can see if you can see it right here, are these little um, square covers. You want to open those up like that. I'm gonna pry them out. I'm gonna show it, gonna zoom in here so you can see. Just remove those. These basically hold the front part in the shell. So just remove those two. You have one on each side and don't lose them because these hold, basically holds this part in to the front of the helmet. So just pry them out like that and set the helmet back. So how these work, if you peel the padding, you'll see you have um, little pegs that slide in. In this case, you need to slide them towards you like so. And here you can see how, how it works right there. So you, to put them on, you go, you slide it down until it snaps and then to take it out, you slide it out. So you do that on both sides of the helmet. You slide it up and it should come out already. When they're brand new, they're a little, they're a little um, hard to get out, but here you can see you can already uh, take it out. You have Velcro on the sides. Also the front, you have, just peel it from that little groove there. Just peel these. And you can take the strap out of that hole. Okay, so pretty much all the rest is the same. In some cases, like on the side, you have these you pull towards you, you pull out. On the front part, they go towards the front. So you have to just push them towards the front of the helmet and these will come out. The same on this side, just push front. So that way you release those uh, the ones that go in the front. Okay, so we have pretty much the front all taking out. And to release the, uh, the strap, there's another one here. So just 
here you can see clearly how those go into the, uh, the shell right there. Just pull down. And they come out. Remember, you're starting from the front, and when you're putting back the padding in, you got to go from the front to the back as well. So you got pretty much everything out of there. In the back, you have a big strip of Velcro here. So it's not easy just to shear it out uh, like that. I recommend taking a credit card and push it in, in between the padding and the shell so you can separate that Velcro and it will come out really easy. You can also use a ruler, just slide it in between the shell and the padding and you'll feel how the Velcro is starting to separate. Just leave that there and peel it off. And that way you get the back part out. So now you can take this part out and you can see how the uh, shell is um, designed. So. These are those little holes where those snaps go in. This obviously remains there in the front. And here's your EPP foam inside. And this little door you can remove if you're installing a uh, roller mount directly on the Cookie G4, you have to drill. Uh, this has a little um, uh, cutout there so you know where exactly you can mount it. So that's how you remove it from the Cookie G4. And this is what the liner looks like. So basically everything comes out, okay? With the Cookie G35, uh, you don't have to take off these two little square um, uh, parts that hold the chin part. It's just the same system, snap system like that. So just remove it and do the same way from the front to the back and put it back on from the front to the back. So let's repad it again so you can see how it's done in reverse. So the first thing you wanna do is just put everything inside the helmet. And actually you can go from the front to the back to take it off and then back to front to put it back in. Uh, it's whatever works best for you. So if you're going back to front, I recommend inserting that ruler or that um, credit card back in into that um, slot there in, in between the shell and the, and the padding. So you can reinstall the back of the, um, of the padding on the helmet. So that way it's easier for you to slide this in again. So let's start there. So you go one side, Kind of tricky until you get get to it but then you push the padding all the way in the way this it's sits flush and then slide the ruler out and that's not going to move once you press it in it's not going to move so there you go and then just add the rest of the uh the padding you have velcro on the side so just it holds just like that then flip the helmet over and you can start by the sides first. And you can see here, you just press down. You want to actually insert the side parts that hold the straps onto these two channels here. So you just slide it in and pull up until it snaps. And you can go ahead and thread your chin strap through the chin strap channel right there. You already keep that there. And then just go on the sides in here, you slide it down until it snaps. The same, the same thing here, make sure you have your buckle pulled out and you want to connect this, for, this first before the padding. So the same here, just slide it in and pull up until it snaps and then the other part there is um, a little loop here where you want to thread 
or put the buckle through. And then here on the side, just insert and pull down until you hear the pop right there. And then all that remains is to insert the front of the uh, chin part into those little channels. There we go. So once you have all that nice and flushed against the shell, then you take those two little plastic covers that go into these little holes. There you go. And then just secure that, just press it down so it pops both sides. And there's no wrong or right way to put them in, just snap them in there and it holds. So that holds the front of the chin part of the helmet back in place. Just make sure everything is nice and secure. Then go to the front. And all you need to do here is just push the liner into that little channel all the way in. Make sure you're symmetrical, that everything looks symmetrical and looks good, that nothing's crooked. If it is, you might miss one of the little holes, so just Make sure it's all in the in the correct hole in there. And now all you need to do is reinsert your friction adapter and reinsert your buckle. Make sure you're inserting it the right way. That way, once you pull it, you have you have actually have friction and you can secure your helmet. Okay, and this goes into the friction adapter. And the way this is made, once you secure your helmet and you have it uh, strapped down, you can adjust this to have it already set to your desired length. That way you don't have to adjust it every time you put it on. So what I, what I recommend and what the manufacturer recommends before you use the helmet, you adjust the length of the drawstring. And I have a separate video for that. You can find it on our YouTube channel where you can adjust that. And then once you have this set, once you've tightened your helmet, this wraps around your neck and under your chin. And then you micro adjust here to the side uh, length where you have it, that it's not choking you. And then buckle it up. And that's how you replace the liners on the G4. So with the Cookie G35, it's basically the same procedure. You have those same snaps all around in the front. You don't need to uh, take off those little square um, uh, pins that hold the, the front part. It's just the same snaps uh, all around the helmet. And also in the back, instead of having just one Velcro strip here, since you have the, uh, the, the, the top plate here, you have two side strips. So you basically insert your ruler, in this case, uh, a plastic ruler, just insert it in, in between. You'll find it, if you see it here, if you um, pull the padding, you can see where the Velcro strip is. And then just, just basically insert it there. They go a little bit in an angle like that. So remove one first, go the other side, remove the other one, and you're good to go. So that's what the, the main difference between the Cookie G35 and the Cookie G4 padding. Uh, just the two Velcro strips in the back versus the single one on the back of the G4 and the two little uh, pins that secure the chin part in, which in the G35, you don't need to. It's just the same snaps all around. So I recommend when you're replacing the padding, make sure you take your visor off. It's easier to access the panels and, you know, put your hand inside the helmet and peel and move it around. So that way it's easier for you. And afterwards, just install your uh, visor as uh, instructed on the manual. Just make sure when you're installing the visor that when you slide the visor back in, it's sitting all the way inside the mechanism and it's not like this. If it's like this, as soon as you try to open it, this is gonna break that spring and those little plastic parts. So just make sure that that is all the way in there. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.